We are at the New York Stock Exchange where we are talking to our good friend Jim Hackathorn, the CEO of Scott's Miracle hey, Grow. Jim, thank you so much for being here today. We had your earnings report today. The stock not reacting great. Why is that? Well, this is what you get when you have a 50% positive or 50 cent positive surprise. Yes. Um, I just think because the weather's crappy outside. So. <laughs> Plus, it's a difficult environment on the market today. Yeah, the market's down a little bit, but I think what we went, it's just crummy weather out there and we need good weather. Well, talking of the weather, I thought a milder winter would be good for a company like uh, Scott's Miracle Grow, where people can get out into the yard faster than perhaps up they would Up through the end of March, it was great. We were up at like 15% point of sale, and, and we were pretty much end of April, we were about flat. Last week, we were up four and a half, now we're up about one. So that... that but earnings are good. Earnings are good. And the year we affirm the year, we're very happy with. Now our this is a company that's been around a while. Yeah, 1868. That's a while. Marysville, Ohio. So has the Miracle Grow formula changed over the years? Is it a constantly evolving? Um, no, like a feature? lot of garden stuff always changes slow, but more and more organic right now. Yeah. Um, or organic. So Miracle Grow Organic Choice is probably our fastest growing brand right now. What's your main market, and what market are you trying to tap into more? Well, pretty much every home in America uses our products. You know that our biggest customers are Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart, yeah. all the hardware stores. Um, so pretty much everybody, a lot of gray-haired people who own homes, um, use our products. <laughs> what do we want to be with? Um, we really like young people. Um, we like the West Coast. Um, and so we're spending well, a lot of money on craft labels. Right. This would be sort of more expensive, specially blended um, soils and mm -hmm. fertilizers for growing all kinds of stuff. It, the rumor is that millennials like gardening. Is that true? Do you find out? Are you getting into that market? Yeah, I think that once, you know, we have a lot of indoor gardening stuff, so yeah. we have this aero garden thing. You put, even in New York City, you could put it in your apartment and grow herbs yeah. right in your kitchen. Um, yeah, the young market is doing really well, and they like to spend money. They like to spend money. Now, you mentioned the West Coast. Uh, we know that Colorado uh, and other states out there have gotten into marijuana. Have you ever thought about, from a miracle grow point of view, well, we call I have that, to ask you. We call that the hydroponic business. Hydroponic business. The hydroponic okay. business. And the fastest growing thing in Lawn and Garden right now is hydroponics. Do you and think that is something that will grow across the country? Pardon the pun. Um, I think if you look at our strategic plan, somewhere between 500 million and a billion dollars in sort of five years Wow! for us. So you've certainly done some research into this. We've done an investing in this. And invested. Very good. So what's the future look like for you? Where do you go from here? How do you continue to, well, grow? Well, we really like hydroponics a lot. Yep. We really like the American market a lot. Yeah. We like Europe less. We like service. So we took our lawn service company, Scott's Lawn Service, combined yeah. it with True Green, and we own about a third of that. That's uh, owned by Clayton yep. Dubalier, and we own about a third of that. So we really like that business as well. So service in the United States, hydroponics, that's kind of where we're at. Is the only way to grow is to acquire, as well as grow your own business, but to acquire as you move forward? Well, you know, our core business is a, we call it zero to 2% mm -hmm. growth. It's like a lot of consumer products in the United right. States, um, which is not bad. You know, our margins are up and it's good, steady, slow growth, high cash flow. Um, but fast growing, hydroponics, service, we really like a lot. Very good. Jim, thank you so much. Really thank appreciate you. it. And continued You're success. Welcome. Profits continue to bloom, I hope. They do, yes. All right. I'm Ashley Webster reporting from the New York Stock Exchange for foxbusiness.com.